Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 12. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our volumetric efficiency fuel table. We're going to learn how the values represent the cylinder filling of our engine that's going on. We're going to be learning how to actually calibrate the table properly and then learning how the table should look and how to start to make your editing changes within the table so the table's smooth and it represents the actual volumetric efficiency or cylinder filling that's going on our engine, which should match our torque curve. We're gonna have a lot of things to cover in this video, so let's jump in so we can check them out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our main volumetric efficiency fuel table in this tuning tutorial. Now, to follow along with what I'm gonna be showing you on the screen, make sure you have your main setup and page template open. So let's go here to desktops, go to open desktops template. We're gonna find that we have this main setup as the option that I'm working with in the video. So again, you can follow along with what I have on my screen. So make sure you select that. I'll click cancel here and back out of there. I'm gonna go from my setup page and we're gonna jump right into our VE specific page. So this has everything related to setting up our volumetric efficiency table that we need right now to discuss in this training tutorial video. So the first table we have open is our actual VE table here. So this is where we actually do our editing. This is going to be our graphical representation of our table. This is going to be important part of the calibration process. We'll talk about that as we go along here in the video. We also have our target air fuel table. That's gonna be part of the fuel calculations. We'll talk about this here as well. And we do have EGO correction and feedback on our screen right now. Um, we're gonna be emitting the EGO correction from this video just to simplify looking at just the volumetric efficiency table and doing the calibration process. We'll introduce this in a separate video upcoming here in the next few videos so that we can, uh, again, kind of dissect this and the way the fuel calculations are gonna be performed. So it'll make things a little bit more simple in this video. And we're also gonna have a couple live video of the live data here, or the real-time data screens open. This is gonna be everything related to any kind of fuel correction or fuel parameters that are going on. So this is gonna be called fueling. And we're gonna have our basic data here that we always wanna take a look at, also enrichments. So these two windows here are gonna be essentially showing us what is going on with corrections and modifiers against our values we're calculating from our main VE table. So the main VE table is gonna be essentially the core calculations of the injector pulse width. Then we'll have things modifying that. So we might have warm up enrichment or air temp compensation or a barrel compensation. So we'll talk about the modifier tables in a separate video. Again, we're just gonna be stripping this down and really focusing on the values in the VE table just to make this as simple as possible. We also have down here at the bottom a graphical uh, a plot so we can take a look at our graphical data and play back some data logs here if we need to within the window. And then we also have a gauge that's gonna be representing our wideband input to our EMU black. So we definitely wanna have any uh, a wideband. Anytime we do any tuning with an EMU black, um, we can't tune the fuel table without having accurate air fuel readings, uh, especially wideband air fuel. So we need to have wideband air fuel. We have that open here right on our screen. So now that we went over what's on the screen here, let's talk about the main VE table and just understanding the core concepts here and how this works. Now we did have a, a specific video taking a look at the VE fuel strategies and calculations. So you should understand or have a better idea of how everything works, but I wanna just reiterate that here in the beginning of this video. So we make sure everything is gonna be on the same page and you're understanding what we're trying to do here and accomplish with this main VE table. So in that video, we learned we had equation, fuel mass is equal to air mass divided by target air fuel. So we jump in into setup, we would specify the volume of our engine. So the bore times the stroke times the number of cylinders. And then that's gonna be essentially how much cylinder filling that we can theoretically fill with our engine. And the VE table is gonna be telling how much we, we're actually filling the cylinder, how much we're filling the volume of the engine. So if we're looking in the table here, Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.